All right. Make a diagram like this. सर ये ड्राई डॉकिंग किस सब्जेक्ट के अंदर आएगा क्वेश्चन hmm, uh, uh, आएगा स्टेबिलिटी के अंदर में नेवल आर्किटेक्चर का पेपर होता है तो ड्राई डॉकिंग उसमें आएगा सर ये ट्रिम बी ट्रिम सी वो तो नीचे है ना या वो भी करनी है सर हमें टाइप ही ठीक है बस टाइप ही Make a table. First column, water line number. Second column, write down equation. Third column, write down inference. Sir, uh, third column is inference. Inference. Hanji, you can see that. Sir, blur 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 Yes, sir. Sir, sir. 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 Sir, 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 sir. Uh, log out that is leave in classroom and then re log in once again. Abhi clear ho gaya. Hey, sir, upar ka dikh raha hai, dry docking or dead wet. Uh, sorry, dock water. Hai. But ye bahut chote character se isle nahi hai. Just try to ek bari dekho kuch this must be something else because the other classes everybody is able to see. So that means there is something which you guys are not doing correct so all you need to do is just log out and then re-log in once again and then pin it fit to screen that's what you need to do then let me know sir what is this third uh, column the after equation inference I N F E R E N C E. 
इन फ्रेंड्स visible now yes sir now better okay all right the preparation for dry docking begins a good 6 months before the actual dry dock during this period there is a correspondence which happens between the ship and the company and the dry dock the dry dock wants certain information from the ship which the ship needs to provide the dry dock also wants the vessel to come in in a part in a particular condition and at a particular trim so for the time being let us hypothetically take forward draft as 4 meters aft draft as 5 meters these are hypothetical figures i'm just taking in reality there are blocks which are there all along the length of the vessel for stability purposes we are only concerned with the aftmost block and the forwardmost block the height above the height of water above the aftmost block is called as dock water height therefore the difference between the top of the block and the keel would be called as the ukc let us say the dock water height hypothetically is Six point five meters. Then the UKC will be one point one five one point five meters. All right. We are calling this as waterline number one. when she comes into the dry dock so at this point in time when she comes in we calling it as water line number 1 the displacement of the vessel we are calling it as w1 acting vertically downward will be equal to the force of buoyancy b1 acting upward 
and the vessel is in stable equilibrium. Trim at this point of time is one meter stern. Okay, now there are two types of dry docks in the world. One is called as a graving dock. The second is called as a floating dry dock. A graving dock is a cemented structure which is inland and vessels enter in from one side of the dock and the entrance is called as the lock gates. So the lock gates are opened up and the vessel enters in and then the lock gates are closed. The floating dry dock is a floating ship itself, which has ballast tanks. And she could be anchored or moored in any sheltered location away from the land. And she has the advantage that she can alter her own trim because she is a ship of her own, whose cargo becomes our ship. So she loads our, our ship as her cargo. And so she has to look after the stability of her own self as well as us both. Now, once the vessel is in position all over the blocks. The dry dock begins to pump out the water. So once the dry dock begins to pump out the water, the water line will start to come down. So, the water line will start falling down. Let us say the water line falls by half a meter. So, the dock water height will become 6 meters. So, when the water line falls down by half a meter, what will happen to the drafts? They will remain the same. The draft will be same. Okay. So the drafts remain the same. So the dock water height decreases. The UKC will go down. And the drafts will remain. The drafts will remain the same. Once the dock water height reaches 5 meters, the UKC will become 0. And at that point in time, aft will touch the block for the first time. So, let's call that as waterline number 2. This is waterline number two. So at waterline number two, the aft block would have 
touched the vessel the forward block will still have some way to go at water line 2 what will be the dock water height at water line 2 5 meters 5 meters 5 meters 5 meters okay so the dock water height at water line 2 will be 5 meters 5 meters at this point of time when aft touches the block for the first time an up thrust force called as p will start the p is an up thrust force exerted by the aft block on to the stern frame of the vessel where the first point of contact happens so water line number 2 calling it as w2 acting downward is equal to bravo 2 acting upward plus a p force calling it as p2 also acting upward has come up the arrows are denoting the direction of the force acting and all upward forces are on the right side downward forces on the left side so at this point of time the ukc is zero dock water height is equal to the initial draft aft initial draft aft da trim at this stage will be 1 meter and decreasing do you all agree to that trim at this stage will be 1 meter yes sir and it will start to decrease because as the water line goes down the p will up thrust will increase and it will push the vessel up like this and so the trim will decrease and once p increases the bow will start going down and the aft draft will decrease and the forward draft will increase so at this stage sir sorry to interrupt but uh, p is the force by the block p is the up thrust force <coughs> exerted by the aft block onto the stern frame of the vessel okay so thank you and so this dock water height is measured from top of the block to That's the water right. line always dock water height is always measured from the top of the blocks okay now let us bring one more element into the picture and that is something called as center of flotation and the distance of the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular is called as lcf 
longitudinal center of rotation. Okay. So, if P2 is acting at waterline 2, then I can say that at waterline 1, B1 plus P1 and P1 was 0. It did not exist in waterline 1. Yes, sir. Does everybody agree on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. This waterline 2 at which the P starts and the aft touches the block for the first time is called as critical period commences. Critical period has commenced. Critical period commences. So waterline 2 is critical period has commenced. Art has touched the block for the first time. Okay. Now, this vessel is going to start going down like this. And so, there will be a point in time when the forward will touch the block. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, let's call that as waterline number three. So, waterline number three is when after for our forward has touched the block. Waterline three is when forward also touches the block. So, the forward has now touched the block. After the pali touch kar tha, ab forward bhi gaya. So, jab ye down jayega, to iska next block touch karega, fir iska next karega, fir next karega, next wala each one karta jayega. Right? Yes. So, the P, is go keep is going to keep getting shared between each of the succeeding blocks yes yes correct sir. the p is going to be shared by all the blocks but i don't have a provision to calculate individual p her block ka kya p hai wo mere paas koi uska koi samadhan nahi hai so, for stability calculations, we assume that the P is forever acting at the aft block only. In reality, we know that P is acting all along the level of the blocks. Sub jaga harik block pe wo P share ora. And the sum total of the whole the P's will be that P for that water line. Okay. Is that okay with everybody? Is this understood? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. Understood. Okay. So, let's call water line 3 as W3 acting downward is equal to buoyancy 3 acting upward plus P3 also acting upward and 
I'm saying P3 is the sum total of all the P's. So it was, it's being shared by this thing. Assume to act at the aft block. Okay. What is the UKC at this stage? Zero. Zero. Whatever is the dock water height at this stage will be equal to draft aft. Will be equal to draft forward. Will be equal to hydrostatic draft. Do you agree to this statement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah, equal level pe gaya. What is the trim at this stage? Zero. Zero. Is this okay with everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This waterline three is known as critical period ends. The end of the critical period. Sir, ये UKC के बाद क्या लिखेंगे? UKC is zero. Dock water height is equal to draft aft is equal to draft forward is equal to Electrostatic draft मतलब सारे equal हो गए मतलब अगर मेरे को कोई भी एक draft मिल जाता है तो मुझे बाकी सारे मिल गए I need to find any one thing trim is zero critical period ends P3 will be greater than P2. Do you agree to this statement? Yes, sir. Sir, please repeat. Papa 3 will be greater than Papa 2. Yes, sir. Do you agree on this? Yes, sir. Okay. Bravo 3 will be less than Bravo 2. The draft has reduced, so the underwater buoyancy has reduced. So the portion where which was acting at Bravo 3, this will be lesser than Bravo 2. The draft is lesser. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. W1 is equal to W2 is equal to W3. Displacement of the vessel is going to remain constant. If my vessel was a 50,000 tonner when she came in into the dry dock, she will remain a 50,000 tonner throughout. Agreed? Yes, yes. Agreed. Okay. This bow, the B.A. touchdown karra hai. wala part. When it is about to touch that instant at which the forward is about to touch is known as critical instant.
critical instant that means critical period ending and critical instant both are occurring at waterline number 3 the only difference is the critical instant precedes critical period ending by a split second bow touch karne wala hai is critical instant touchdown ho gaya critical period has ended is that okay yes sir pehle critical uh, instant aayega fir critical period end hoga bilkul theek ye bow touch karne wala hai split second before is critical instant touchdown ho gaya critical period end ho gaya both are occurring at waterline number 3 trim is zero at this stage forward draft is equal to half draft at this stage is that okay yes sir yes sir so okay. ye jo hum calculate karte hain forces ye matlab bow aur exact stern pe calculate hoti hain ya parallel body pe calculate hoti hain हमारे फॉरवर्ड ये हमारे बेसिकली ड्राफ्ट मार्क्स हैं तो ये मेरा हाफ ड्राफ्ट है ये मेरा फॉरवर्ड ड्राफ्ट है सो दे आर एट दी एफ पी एंड एपी ओके सर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन माय ड्राफ्ट मार्क्स सो माय दैट इज द ओनली वे आई विल गेट टू नो द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द माय ड्राफ्ट्स सो इसलिए द ब्लॉक्स आर प्लेस्ड बिलो द ड्राफ्ट so there at the blocks are placed at fp and ap sir dry dock mein hamesha trim by stern hi aate hain ya even keel bhi hota hai abhi abhi for stern rakh rahe hain abhi hum even keel nahi hota stern hi hota hai matlab kahin bhi nahi aayega ye na okay sir okay any other question no sir okay so basically what is happening is when i came in into the dry dock supposing my displacement was 50000 tons then buoyancy was also equal to 50000 at waterline 2 displacement is 50000 buoyancy will start getting reduced p will start getting increased so let's say p becomes 10000 then buoyancy will be 40000 at 3 this will be 50000 p might become 20000 this will become 30000 so what is happening as the water line is falling the buoyancy started at a maximum is gradually reducing p started at zero is gradually increasing so the dry the process of dry docking is all about buoyancy continuously decreasing p continuously increasing then <laughs> the dry dock continues to pump out the water and one water line comes in below 3 let's call that as water line number 4 and finally the dry dock water comes at keel level let's call that as water line number 5 water line number 4 write the equation 
W4 going downward is equal to buoyancy 4 acting upward plus papa 4 also acting upward. Four points, four waterline number four. Buoyancy four will obviously be less than buoyancy three. Papa four will obviously be greater than Papa three. W three will be equal to W4. Displacement remains constant. And finally, we arrive at waterline number 5. Where W5 is equal to buoyancy 5, which will which become will 0. And Papa 5 will become equal to the displacement of the ship. So Papa 5 will be maximum 50,000 tons at waterline number 5. So the whole process of dry docking is a gradual transfer of weight from the ship to the blocks, all being done in a very gradual manner. And in a gradual way, the buoyancy is getting reduced and the upthrust is getting gradually getting increased. So that the stresses on the vessel are not compromised. Otherwise, the ship can likely topple over. So this whole process has to be done in a very gradual and a phased out manner. Hanji, any questions so far? All right. Now, so waterline four cons here? Waterline 4 is between 3 and 5. Uski kya importance hai, woh mein thodi dheer mein bataunga abhi. Abhi mein bata nahi raha hon usko. Abhi thodi dheer mein usko leke aunga. So, jab blocks ko bait karega, fir to buoyancy will be zero, right? And, oh. Jab, so, when I am at waterline number 5, buoyancy B5 is zero. There is no underwater volume. And P5 will be 50,000 tons if my displacement is 50,000. Yeah, okay. And after the vessel comes to waterline 5, then the dry dock quickly pumps out the water, empties out the dock bottom. Then you will go down to the dock bottom with the ship repair manager and carry out a inspection of the underwater hull. Sir, जो जो forward forward block है sir वो last होगा जो touch करेगा ship से उसके okay. पहले number number four water line तक सिर्फ forward से पीछे वाले block तक बैठेगा ship आप बताओ trim zero कब हुई थी sir trim तो number three पे zero हो गई थी trim three पे zero हो गई थी तो तो forward block ने कब touch किया वाटर लाइन 3 पे वाटर लाइन 3 पे टच कर लिया तो वाटर लाइन 4 पे ट्रिम क्या होगी जीरो ही रहेगी सर बिल्कुल जीरो ही होगी सो ट्रिम इज जीरो एट वाटर लाइन 4 
सो so, जो भी उस वक्त का डॉक वाटर हाइट होगी वही उस वक्त का ड्राफ्ट फॉरवर्ड होगा वही उस वक्त का ड्राफ्ट आफ्ट होगा वही उस वक्त का हाइड्रोस्टैटिक ड्राफ्ट भी होगा तो सर अगर नंबर थ्री पे ही टच हो गया फॉरवर्ड और आफ्ट मींस बीच बीच वाले भी फिर सारे टच हो गए ब्लॉक्स बिल्कुल तो फिर नंबर फोर का तो फिर कुछ रेलेवेंस रहा नहीं फिर अभी प्रेजेंटली नहीं है अभी आगे आएगा अभी बी कमिंग टू दैट आई बी कमिंग टू दैट उसको लेके आऊंगा अभी फोर को सर ये क्रिटिकल इंस्टेंस इज ऑन नंबर 3 क्रिटिकल पीरियड एंडिंग एंड क्रिटिकल पीरियड क्रिटिकल इंस्टेंट इज ऑल एट नंबर 3 ओके सर All this is happening at three. So at water line five, W five is equal to P five, so to speak. is equal to p5 okay now one question after critical period has commenced which will happen at water line number 2 the dry dock stops the pumping out of water for some time my question is why does dry dock stop pumping out dock water after water line number 2 that's my question सर इसका रिकॉर्डिंग चालू नहीं है किसका रिकॉर्डिंग चालू नहीं हुआ सर लेक्चर नहीं चल रहा है आई कैन सी द रेड बटन हो रहा है हो रहा है हो रहा है हो रहा है सर लेक्चर हो रहा है हो रहा है तो वेस्ट वेदर द वेस्ट इज इन लाइन फॉर सेटिंग ऑन द ब्लॉक्स प्रॉपर्ली और नॉट ओके सो पॉइंट नंबर 1 परफेक्टली राइट सो एज to check the alignment of the vessel with respect to the blocks so the first is that ke ye jahaz jo hai port and starboard alignment फोर एंड हाफ अलाइनमेंट जो भी करना है अलाइनमेंट है ठीक के नहीं है तो एक तो ये हो गया एनीथिंग एल्स अंडर वाटर प्लग्स क्लियर हैं के नहीं जो ब्लॉक्स में तो ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन कर रहा है ऑलराइट सो नाउ लेट अस कम फॉर अंडर वाटर ऑब्स्ट्रक्शंस नाउ व्हाट आर दीस ऑब्स्ट्रक्शंस सो यू सेड बॉटम प्लग्स वॉट एल्स एनीथिंग एल्स प्रोपेलर 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 तो बहुत ऊपर होता है जनरली बट चलो यू वांट टू कॉल इट एज दैट सो आई विल पुट इट एज ओके प्रोपेलर जनरली प्रोपेलर इज नॉट एन इशू इज नॉट एन इशू सी चेस्ट सो नो सी चेस्ट ऑलराइट अब नाउ यू आर टॉकिंग 
सी एच एस हां जी सी एच एस व्हाट एल्स बी टू राइट बिल्ज की Anything else? Or कुछ Any other obstructions do I have? अगर मेरे कोई नीचे प्लेट अगर मेरे नीचे कोई प्लेट मुझे क्रॉप एंड रिन्यू करनी है जिसकी रिपेयर के लिए मैं आया हूं तो क्या वो क्लियर है कि नहीं बॉटम प्लेटिंग टू क्रॉप एंड रिन्यू सी एन आर बॉटम प्लेटिंग टू क्रॉप एंड रिन्यू एंड लास्ट टाइम जब मैंने ड्राई डॉक किया था तो जो मेरी ब्लॉक्स की लोकेशन थी अब मेरी ब्लॉक्स की लोकेशन दूसरी होनी चाहिए एग्रीड यस सर। बिकॉज बिकॉज जिस पोर्शन पे लास्ट टाइम मेरा ब्लॉक ने मुझे कॉन्टैक्ट किया था वो पोर्शन तो मेरा अनटच रहा नहीं हुआ उसमें तो कोई उसमें तो कोई मेरी ना कोई ग्रेट ब्लास्टिंग हुई ना कोई मेरा पेंट हुआ ना कुछ हुआ तो इस बार मेरा जो ब्लॉक है दूसरी उसके अलग परे होना चाहिए ताकि वो एक्सपोज हो इस बार एग्रीड यस सर एग्रीड ओके सो बेसिकली ये सारी चीजें को ये ड्राई डॉक करता है इसके अलावा और क्या करता है ड्राई डॉक ड्राइडॉक इस वक्त देता करता है अंडर वाटर सीसीटीवी रिकॉर्डिंग अंडर वाटर सीसीटीवी रिकॉर्डिंग करता है टू चेक फॉर एनी डेंट्स और इंडेंटेशंस ऑफ द प्लेटिंग एंड दिस कैन बी डन बाय वेरियस मेथड्स depending on the technology you could have underwater divers you could have scuba you could have uh, uh, remote operated rovs you could have submersible submarines depending on the technology of the country submersibles are used so depending on all that the recording is done sir what is the uh, what is mean by this bottom plating of cnr bottom plating to crop and renew agar koi meri just dry dock jis cheez ke liye main dry dock mein aaya hu koi meri plating mein hole hai mujhe usko crop and renew karna hai तो उस प्लेट को मेरे को खाली रखना पड़ेगा ओके। okay. सर so, ये सब जो भी है ये सब यार्ड यार्ड वाला साइड करेगा ये चेक्स। कौन सा वाला? ये चेक्स। yes. जो अंडर वाटर ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन है करेक्ट वाइड और और मुझे ये प्रोवाइड करनी है ये इंफॉर्मेशन टू द कंपनी एंड द कंपनी टू द ड्राइड ऑफ सर ये ब्लॉक का पोजीशन जो रहता है ये प्रीवियस डाटा डॉक में ये सब ये डाटा डॉक की रिपोर्ट में दिया रहता है ना सर ये, ये दिया रहता है ये प्रीवियस डाटा डॉक की रिपोर्ट में होता है यस तो किस फ्रेम पे ब्लॉक्स लगे थे अब वो उसके अगले वाले फ्रेम पे लगाते हैं उसके बगल वाला फ्रेम और सर ये जो अलाइनमेंट ब्लॉक पे करते हैं तो उस टाइम पे अभी जो फर्स्ट टच हुआ है तो अभी तो पानी है तो उसमें नीचे से चेक कैसे करेंगे कि बराबर बैठ रहा है ये लास्ट 
in some dry docks it can take as much as 12 hours also so once all these checks are done then the dry dock commences and resumes the pumping out sir ye rov kya hai sir rov is remote your operated. Remo- remote operated vehicles your remote operations your underwater basically your underwater remote operations okay okay chalo let us take a break and we will come back again in 15 minutes time i have got one more class with you theek hai yes sir okay uh, yes, see sir. you in 15 I'll see you in 15 minutes. Sir. Haan ji. Uh, sir, Captain Baba is all right now. He will join us or not? Abhi, the, the, we're just waiting for him. Abhi, I, I'm also waiting for him. Okay, okay sir. Sir, so, yeah, so is waiting. there a possibility that uh, our navigation, he will handle our navigation at some point of time when he will be all right or uh, our GT server will do it? Uh, Uh, let me just see how we'll how we going to manage that uh, abhi presently i have given a few topics to rkt sir to handle so i have told him to start on the navigation so that the navigation doesn't suffer mm, okay so rkt sir will start with uh, i've given him some topics so he'll start with that and i've given mm-hmm. some topics to i've given some topics to Uh, so uh, i'm keeping a tab on that okay okay hello all right i'll see you in 15 minutes time okay sir